Hey guys, I've got to make this video pretty quick because I've been busy all day helping my dad out with stuff and I have work tomorrow at 8 a.m. I actually got a job, I'm going to be working at Walmart. Um, not the ideal workplace, but it's a job, so, and I need the money. Um, but yeah, also, if I had the time, uh, this video would probably be really, really long and you guys probably don't want to hear everything that I have to say about this topic, so going to try and keep it relatively short. Um, I found out about the situation with C.C. McDonald, I guess, right around when it first started coming out. Um, it was definitely before, uh, I guess, shortly after the, the incident happened. Um, and I think that the biggest thing to talk about as far as the situation is I think, you know, you don't want to turn any one person's life into a moral, because um, people are people, and Cece is a person, and um, a person who I respect immensely for how she's handled this situation, and for how, you know, how she's handled herself just in general, and the fact that from what I've heard about her, even before this all happened, uh, she was just an amazing person. Um, and then just seeing how she's dealt with this, she still is a, a completely amazing person. Um, but as much as you don't want to use a person, you hear everybody talk about, you know, don't use somebody to make your point or to further your agenda or anything. But I don't think that's what this is. I think that uh, hopefully this situation and the attention that this situation is getting, which, you know, isn't as much as it should be, but, um, you know, at least on places like Tumblr and things like that, people who hadn't really heard about situations like this are hearing about it. Um, but I think the biggest thing that we need to take from this is, you know, as trans masculine people, we need to understand who exactly within the trans community is at risk for violence. Um, and you know, I sort of used to lump, you know, all trans people into, yes, trans people are at risk for violence, and to some extent that's true, but um, it's a very unnuanced view of the situation. Um, you know, just saying being trans puts you at risk for violence, that's not true. Basically, you know, if you're, if you don't pass a cis, if you are, you know, red as trans in any way, if you are not white, if you were male assigned at birth, you're more at risk. And that's just a fact that I think a lot of people don't want to admit because I think, you know, when you deal with, you know, I mean, I've been lucky to not really be treated in any horrible way for being trans, but I know that there are, you know, um, white female assigned guys who have gotten some pretty shitty treatment. They might have lost their jobs. They might have been kicked out of their houses. They might have had their friends say some really fucked up stuff to them. Um, but I think we need to realize that we're so much safer than, you know, just to make it personal, I am so much safer than CeCe McDonald was and is. Um, I mean, for one, right now they've got CC in a men's facility, which is incredibly dangerous for her and incredibly disrespectful. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about that, for one thing. Um, and I think that's a big thing that people don't pay attention to when they talk about, you know, even, even people who acknowledge that it's trans women who are more likely... Uh, to be hurt or killed for their identities, they don't acknowledge that it's, you know, more than likely black and Latina trans women, um, not just trans women in general. People say they don't want to make it about race or whatever, but, you know, whether you talk about it or not, it's already about race because it's the reality. Um, and this is like a super not fun video, but um, it's definitely something that needs to be talked about. Um, and like I said, I 
think CC absolutely did the right thing. I hate that she had to, but um, I think she absolutely did the right thing in that situation and in the situation as far as, you know, taking a plea deal. Um, a lot of people have criticized her for that, but the world, um, just by virtue of a lot of facets of her identity, is completely stacked against her. And a jury would not understand her. Um, they had to actually, you know, her lawyers were petitioning to ask for an expert to come in and just explain to the jury what in the world trans people even were, and that was denied. Um, so she would not have had any chance for a fair trial. But basically, I think that it just needs to be a wake-up call for us as trans men, as trans masculine people, that when we're talking about violence against trans people, we're talking about very specific groups, and we can't act like everyone has the same amount of risk, because they absolutely do not. Um, and we, as a trans masculine community, have historically done a pretty shitty job of acknowledging our, you know, the trans feminine or male assigned non-binary folks who are in this community with us. Um, and I like that everybody can get behind, you know, supporting CC, but a lot of people don't follow through. Um, a lot of people are supporting CC because she's trans, um, and not really acknowledging or looking into the reasons why she was a victim of the attack that she was in the first place. Um, so that's what I have to say about that. Um, sorry for uploading this video late. Um, you know, I might actually make a, a longer video about this on my personal channel. Um, I was kind of thinking about writing a spoken word piece to CC, and I probably will do that um, when I get a chance. So look for that on my personal channel if you want to see it. I guess subscribe, and I'll try to do that sometime in the next couple days. I've got it kind of rolling around in my head, but I didn't have it down well enough to um, try and put it in this video. But that's definitely something that I want to do. Um, the, a spoken word piece to CC and to just any trans person who's male assigned, pretty much. But but I think focusing on her. So, yeah. Um, I have to go to bed now because I have to get up at like 6.30 or earlier because I should probably shower. So, yeah. Um, I guess I will see you guys next week.